Uh, James Kors, we're up here in Williston, North Dakota. We have a motor home with uh, 1,200 decals on it. We're gonna be up here all summer. We do usually do a little circuit. You know, we're in Williston for a week. We're in Minot for a week. We're in Bismarck for a week. We're in Watford for a week. Our motto is tattoo your ride, not your hide. You know, you can express yourself. It's America. You know, you can let your feelings be known. This lady, uh -huh. she comes up, she buys like five religious stickers, and then she buys the token toe. And we're looking through them, and we go, oh, ma'am, well, you probably didn't want this one. Oh, yeah, that one's for my son. We said, okay. So she drives off, and she must have been in her mid-60s. Well, pretty soon, here comes this old beat-up, like a Ford Escort. I mean, it's got dents in it, got stickers all over it. And there's this guy, and he was kind of heavy like me with a big beard and kind of long hair. He goes, hey, did some old lady come by here and buy a bunch of stickers? We said, yeah. He said, I am the token toad. And he got in his car and drove away. <laughs> yep, 90% of my stickers are $8. Take right. your time. There's 1,300 of them all the way around. Thanks, man. Yep. What's this one? Oh, wine them, dine them, pipeline them. Yeah, and it's got a picture of a scantily clad woman straddling a pipe on a stripper pole, no less. But uh, yeah, it's a very popular sticker with the pipeliners. With with the men, anything with a scantily clad woman on it, they pretty much eh, they buy it. Okay, let's do this one. Diesel smoke makes me horny. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of truck drivers. Um, and you use horsepowers and everything's a diesel engine out in the oil patch whether you're fracking all in water oh, yeah. that is totally true. <laughs> and then uh the one this spring that went out the door like in the first two days we sold out of them and i had them in quantity and it was cowboy butts drive me nuts the guys were buying them and putting them on their boss's pickup in pink <laughs> <laughs> and then they were getting two of them so when he'd find one and tear it off they could put another one right back yeah. on there <laughs> Uh, the oil patch has changed over the years. You have a lot more females, especially driving. Uh, got a lot of female truck drivers now, and we try to cater to everyone. So we have we have quite a few for girls up here. You know, I'm used to seeing Calvin. We got Calvin peeing on everything. Right, right. So Calvin's peeing on everything. So yes, I, I, I've seen Calvin peeing yeah. a lot, but I've never seen. We got the girl ones. We got. I don't even know what we call her. Um, we're gonna have to make up a name for her. Calvinette. I, I, I don't I don't know what we'd call her. Right, she's kind of a punker. Yeah, she's a punk rocker and she's smiling when she's peeing on everything. Right. And she's peeing on her ex-husband and her ex-boyfriend. Yes, sir. Yes, she <laughs> is. You know, another popular sticker is, and I can actually uh, swear to this one a little bit, it says, God, give me one more oil boom. This time I won't piss off the money. <laughs> and I can actually attest to that on occasion. <laughs> did, you, did you piss off your money? Yeah, well, I was young. What are you going to do, you know? <laughs> You know, 83, they had a pretty big boom down in Midland, Odessa, and I, I worked that all and just coming out of there a lot skinnier, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I don't see the prostitution or the drugs or the gambling like you did in, say, booms 10 years ago. And, and obviously with this many people, there's going to be a high rate in this, but like I said, I call it a Sunday school boom, and it's nice. It's nice at this point in my life because I'm not, you know, that's fine. I would like to find a poker game now and again, though. Hey, how you guys doing? You see something you like? 